Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Bastion with me, TDOA, Moonlighter, all those other fun names. Obviously in the last episode we found out that Zolf had sent his brethren to the Aura to attack us. And we lost Zia in the process. And Pecker, the bird. I will miss you, Pecker. Hopefully Zia's still alive. Let's hopefully get this last shard and find the out what we need to do. The Aura down from the east. At least now we know the way. The east? Where's the east? Aha! The Uzundra Gate. Zolf's agents must also want the final shard, knowing it's the key to undoing the harm they caused. Uzundra Gate used to lead down to the terminals. Now it leads up to the stars. Ooh, okay. Also, I didn't get the thing for this, so I'm going to quickly do that one The too. secret to how we built Ceylandia so tall and proud lies in Burstone Quarry. Cool. So, let's hit Uzundra Gate. Let's find out what happens here. To the Ura, the Bastion symbolizes Ceylondia, which they now know brought the calamity upon them. So the Bastion is what caused the calamity in the first place. Well, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be fun. One last shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. What does that mean, Rux? And mother, what a mess it is. Can we undo the calamity with the bastard? A mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the calamity morning. failed, and he's right. The Ura stand as living proof of that. <laughs> she knocked them out. Oh, hello. I like shiny bits. Give me the bags. So we don't kill the Ura, which is good. Uh, what? Day two. At the heart of the calamity was a simple idea. We never wanted to go to war again. Wanted to rule it out. Well, I brought the machete. So the kid is just literally on a mission. against that problem. Scientists, soldiers, spies, even me. <gasps> so Rox worked on the Bastion. We sought solutions far beyond the city. We traveled near as far as the kids go right now. Damn. Hello. The kid forgot to pick this stuff up. So this must be the gate. I'm gonna fuck all your Ura shit up! Oh, fuck's sake. That's so much more effective. Charge me again, I dare you. <laughs> over here. I see a single shot over there. Most of our efforts did bear fruit. I hope the kid isn't killing these people and he's just knocking them out. Okay, I just want to see if there's anything over here. Um, there was nothing over here. Okay. It's a really handy sign that's pointing in a bunch of different directions for things that are now gone. Let's keep it moving. Country. We stole the land piece by piece. Hey. Right. Then there was a breakthrough, but it didn't come from one of our people. <laughs> the shift fact that I can do that at close range is great. Oh, something fancy for the carbine. Oh, let's jump on. You're not Nelly, but you'll do. Nura, a brilliant young scientist named Ven. <gasps> Wow. <laughs> then worked with lances, the sharpest knives in the city's drawer. And that's Zia's father. Must be. Right, 
Whoops. With his help, the Mancer devised a way to seal the Ura Tunnel shut in a flash. Oh no. Just like that, every last Ura living in the Tassel Terminals will be gone. So the Calamity was designed to take out their tunnels whilst we lived above the skies. Well, oh, I'm awake now. I might as well just continue my journey. Got the kid is bad. This discovery was never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. And I guess we reached that last resort. But why? Oh, I'll grab both of those just in case. God, that's so useful. Something wrong. We still don't know what this is for. But hopefully we've got the enough pieces to like upgrade it twice. Manipulated. He had plans of his own. <gasps> he wanted to use the Calamity for his own purpose. He sabotaged the Mancer's little science project. Set it to blow up in their faces. And that's why the calamity happened in Ceylondia and affected us instead of the aura. Imagine how Van must have felt when they finally made him pull that trigger. Must have been over the moon. I get it, but uh, to even create such a weapon is nuts. A7, Jesus. Kid doesn't stop. But remember, the Bastion can fix everything. We just need that shard. But what does that mean, Rox? Why can the Bastion fix the Calamity? You haven't told us. Oh boy. Too bad the Ura ain't exactly been willing to collaborate on that front. Yeah, I wonder why. Those do a lot more damage than I thought they did. For now. Kid has little choice but to pick up where the calamity left off. First things first, though. There's someone we figured needed rescuing. See ya. Damn right. You risk it with the final shard, knowing the Bastion will never recover without it. So the so Zolf explains to the Aura what the Bastion is, and the Bastion caused the calamity, but apparently can. not reverse the effects of the calamity? Oh, I feel really bad about destroying those stone the stone statues now. fell back. No doubt planning the next move. But we knew ours already. Did we? What's the plan, Sometimes Rox? a single look says it all. Let's go. There's something we had to do before going after that last shard. Get Zia back. Zoltan's Hollow. The Ura launched their assault on the Bastion from this outpost. Zia must be here. Zoltan's Hollow is the Ura's border blockade. At least it used to be. Nice. Actually, before we do that, I'm just gonna... Well, I'll continue playing, because obviously this will be a dead short episode if it was just literally level by level. But I want to quickly check the Lost and Found. Oh yeah, and the Memorial as well. I need to go back to that. Nope, nothing new there. Okay. The country... Wait. She's all the pieces now, but still looking good. Yeah, she is. All right, let's go. Let's get Zia back. After Zal Zolf vowed to destroy the Bastion, Rux accelerated to work on a secret weapon. Oh my god, this is getting weird. So Rux and Zia's dad worked on creating the Calamity on the Bastion, but the Bastion well, was also a safe now haven. It's personal, ain't it? Oh, what is that? And can I use it? It's personal for him, 
that is personal for me. He is straight down to business. We never saw him coming. Huh. A calamity cannon? He gets his hands on the care package I sent him. Ooh. It's a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. Roxy did a good job there, mate. Okay, so it hurts me as well. But damn, does it do good damage. They got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy. My turn. I win. They've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together. I'm breaking over those things and the calamity rocks slink back into the ground. Oh, thank you. Take a step back. I will gladly make the calamity happen here. Those rocks are like tumors, the same kind they are planted in the bastion. Interesting. Okay, so you need to, with this, you need to actually just literally hold square for it to fire. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. That's good damage. Oh, I can't upgrade it. I want to upgrade. I don't want to. Actually, I do need something in my select skill. We'll go back to Ghost Blade. Would this be ridiculous? I feel like it would be ridiculous, but I'm going to do it anyway. They even sick their little rattletail heads on the kid. Just a bump in the road. Yeah, they are. There we go. It feels a bit ridiculous to be carrying two kind of rocket launchers, basically. Out the way forward. Let's see what's over here. Kids picking the whole place apart. Piece by piece. <laughs> Something burnt. Which is an upgrade material for the gallium mortar. So I can upgrade that even more. Lovely. I will gladly destroy your base. You destroyed mine, I destroy yours. Simple as that. By now, every Ura from here to the terminals must know he's in town. Most of the Earth's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow. God, it's gonna take a while.
They're easy targets. Oh, there's a bloody spawner for these things. Need to destroy this. Thank you. Now, I forgot it, it does damage to me as well. Sweet. Thank you for all the shards. I wish I brought a slightly faster weapon. Because I'm doing massive amounts of damage. This is hella slow. Can I wake up, little buddy? Some of them are downright bewildered by what's happening. <laughs> Be first, so would I. Ooh. Juicy. Oh, let's grab that. Why not? Well, let's they get our own back. Lost this. Lost a kid. Yeah, he is a kid, isn't he? I forget that that's not just a nickname. He is actually a kid. A kid with a calamity cannon, to be fair. But, you know. Semantics. They underestimated us. That is pegged all wrong. That's cool, he gets like goggles. It's <laughs> quite cool, actually. Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. Really isn't. I thought that was the way forward. Where's the way forward? Zolf should have got to know us better. Probably. Maybe I should have trusted him. Told him everything I knew. Hmm. Maybe. Damn. I wonder if things would have been different if Rox had told him the truth. to be angry. Beyond angry. As the hour grows desperate, the Hura bring out their big guns. I've got a big gun too. Mine isn't a crossbow. Mine's a calamity cannon.
I will gladly waste the resources. Before this to is kill all them. over. It'll all be water under the bridge. This is what I don't understand. He keeps saying stuff like that, but I don't get it. There's nothing standing in his way no more. He sees the Tazzle terminals loom large on the horizon. It's actually a mortar battle on that one. It's quite funny. Child's All drawing. those dreams snuffed out in the calamity a will bring them back. A crude but heartfelt illustration is inscribed in chalk on a stone surface. Unlike most of the Ura civilization, it survived the calamity more or less intact. So both sides took major losses. Way out there on the edge of the world, that's where it finally finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Oh, she has another heart. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. What? Oh, no, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. God damn. That's a... Whew. Interesting. You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. I'm sorry, Zia. For the Ceylondians did to your people. Pardon me, miss. Does this belong to sure you? Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose. Just to see if he go after you. Huh. <laughs> and hand her the child's drawing as well. Shows you the simple drawing found far to the east. Calamity took everything from the Uri to Nip, besides their will to fight. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. So we can apparently bring it back, but I don't know how. This is one of the only traces left of the Ura I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Yeah, but how? Rux, you haven't told me how. <laughs> ah, it's per Um, I got new materials for the... Oh. Wait, rockets were not launched. Heavy duty magazines that holds the rockets firmly in place before firing, granting more precise control. Nah. First step to learning the calamity can yep. is knowing about the machinery overrides. Yep. Yep. Take my word for it. Don't ever drop one of those. Okay. Cool. Kid at arms. Yep. Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those. Cool. I'm just going to carry rockets and mortars all the way to the end of the game at this point. <laughs> Uh, oh right, yeah, it's just telling me I've got a calamity cannon. Two are wieldly to lock and stuck. Its blast cause area damage. The mancers not only theorize about the raw force of the world, they develop blueprints for how to unleash them. Yep. Okay, now that's just plain overkill. I mean, come on. <laughs> I love that. He's just like, yeah, you're overdoing it, mate. You're overdoing it. But that's the way I roll. Damn it, Rux. That's the way I roll. Um, and with that sad episode and me carrying two rocket launch well rocket launcher and a mortar um, we're gonna leave it on this um so with Zia coming back to to the pastian um yeah so thank you very much for watching guys as always if you enjoyed the concept please do drop it a like um subscribe if you haven't already drop a comment you know all that kind of fun stuff check out our socials as well um you know if you want to know when we upload uh, we've got that literally ready to go so every time an, an episode uploads it goes onto all our socials and stuff um we're on facebook twitter and instagram as well um and we are working on building some more social content for that side as well so hopefully you'll see that coming up um, very soon if not already um so yeah so thank you very much for watching guys as always do check out the rest of the channel as well and kakumo stuff too and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.